How's everybody today? She's been a moment or two. Uh, haven't made a lot of videos. Been really busy. We'll talk about that later. Uh, we're here in the dyno room. Finally, uh, our absorber is fixed. I don't, I've never said this before, uh, but this absorber went on us there last year. We got it back together. This will be our first uh, test run on it. This is built by Non-Serious Engineering. Uh, they're here in Canada. I will uh, leave the description and the link below so you guys can, uh, if you guys need some dyno absorber work. That's the proper word I'm looking for. So this was a dyno mite. Um, I've replaced or repaired it a bunch of times over the years. And uh, actually what went on, and I didn't know there's a little flap in uh, the bottom here. And the one time we're using the dyno, I found it in the, in the system afterwards. Like there's a filter. And I was like, oh, what is that? That's kind of weird, it must be, I don't know. But I just thought it was debris from the water tank, but it wasn't, it was part of the absorber. That actually stopped the water from recirculating all the way back around. So I was having a lot of cavitating issues with this because the water just kept going around and around and around. So uh, there's a flap in here that stops that. So now the water is gonna go around and just right out instead of going around and around and uh, eating the insides of that. So the, uh, the inner plate or inner surface was fine. He put new bearings in it. He had to uh, machine a whole new outer piece. And anyways, we're gonna test it out and see how it works. Well, actually, I have already done a dyno pull on this before this video to make sure it works. I know it works, you're gonna see it work. So we have a little small block Chevy on uh, the dynos for a circle track motor, or it is a circle track motor. Uh, we're hoping it makes over 650 horse. And we'll, uh, we'll get to the poles in a bit. I'm waiting for the, uh, the builder to get here because he would like to be here and tune it. We got to uh, do the valve lash quickly. Um, yeah, so they've re put new rings in it, new cam, new valves, and it should be good to go with these, this massive monstrosity of a header system. But uh, I think it's gonna make some good horsepower. It should make some good RPM. We're hoping about 7,500 is what I'm told. So we'll, we'll get to it. checking before we uh, give it a good big pull like I said, we've already ran this motor previously to this this morning warmed it up we did a very short pull now we're just gonna go double check because yeah it's, it's just better to double check everything's what I'm getting out here so we just found one Minor loose one needs a couple thou tight, no big deal. Uh, you're gonna see some stuff on the dyno, so you're always gonna see this red for now. We have it hooked to our oil pressure gauge. The sensor is gone for the dyno oil pressure gauge, but it's still gonna be fine. It's just gonna say warning the whole time, so don't worry, there's no warning. Air, air flows right here. Okay. The 
was probably the only chance I could put in there. So it was right. out of oil pressure, reading zero. Yeah. Like, Stop! <laughs> yeah, we don't. Shut it down! Yeah. It's okay. I'm gonna get a quick grease in the oil. That's what I was talking about. This used to be oil pressure. Now it's not because it'll be zero. <laughs> but we can see oil pressure. quick break from the dyno we'll talk about this later so when I get back to the farm hopefully we're gonna let the hair down to that motor figure about 73 7500 and really see what she has so that'll be fun okay back to the batter so since I've left they have put a carb spacer in actually it didn't make any horsepower more this is a different carburetor it's made more horse by the other carburetor uh, so we're gonna do the final pull let her hair down and let you guys see it Okay, we'll just kind of check out this very last poll. So we made uh, 6,600, 675.5 horse was the top of it. And the torque is coming in really nice. Actually, it's coming in earlier, 4,500 at 605 already. And like, you know, 609. Like, that's a really nice torque curve, all the way to 5,000, 606 foot pounds of torque. I'm not too sure where it comes in at. We never took it that low, but. This, uh, this motor is pretty healthy, pretty happy with that. Okay, well I hope everybody enjoyed this video, all the pulls, I probably wasn't too long of a video, um, but it's good to get my feet back wet. So what has been going on? I, my last video was during harvest and I've just stopped cold turkey making videos. I've honestly just been too busy. Uh, my, both kids are in hockey, uh, lots of farming. What's gonna come up next, uh, we're gonna be building a new chicken barn so that has been eating up a lot of my time. So we're gonna get into that in the next video. So I have a lot of cool stuff uh, to show you this planting season. Um, we'll get into the next video though. So uh, stay tuned. Sorry I've been uh, MIA for a while, but sometimes just gotta do some personal things before uh, when I just get too busy, the camera goes down and stays down. But anyways, make sure you like, subscribe, have a good one, peace.